What is going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got some more NBA news to of course be talking about with you guys. In today's video, what I actually wanted to talk about is the recent news we've been receiving around Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons has actually been in a lot of trade talk and I mean a lot of trade talk and I'm sure most of y'all have been keeping up with this but wow it's been a it's been a pretty interesting thing with multiple teams being currently reported to have interest in him we've heard the Minnesota Timberwolves the Indiana Pacers the Cleveland Cavaliers Toronto Raptors and Detroit Pistons all have interest in Ben Simmons and have reportedly inquired about him but according to Keith Pompey of Philadelphia Inqu Inquirer, In uh, Inquirer, I think it's Inquirer. I always somehow managed to get a huge tongue twist with pronouncing that. But he actually goes on to say that San Antonio Spurs are one of the big teams heavily interested in Ben Simmons right now. Now, I believe I have talked about Ben Simmons and San Antonio. And I, I just think, you know, I've talked about it before, I believe, on this channel. I could be wrong, I don't know, but I, I just think... It would be a really weird decision for San Antonio to actually go and do something like this. Because I think this has been one of the first years in a long time that the franchise has actually kind of realized that, hold on a second, it, it might actually be rebuild time. And we're not exactly too sure how much years Greg Popovich has got left in coaching. Probably not too many now at this point. But I think what San Antonio kind of hoping for is that in these last couple years, he can, you know, lead this young San Antonio team and develop a couple of, you know, the players that they've got on their team. And then maybe eventually they'll turn into a, a good team in the future. And of course, just develop some assistant coaches here and there as well. The issue with, you know, San Antonio right now is that they are in a weird spot where, look, they, they are pretty bad. Like, they don't have a star or anything like this. I feel like they're... They're kind of in the same spot where the Cleveland Cavaliers are in right now, where the team doesn't have, like, a designated star, but they're waiting for that young guy to step up. Both teams have, like, a dude in vision. You know, San Antonio think DeJounte Murray could be, you know, he could be heading into his prime this season. You know, he had a really good season last year. Cavs think Garland can do it. You know, Garland's much younger, 20, 21, I believe 21 years of age. I'm not sure. But the difference is, again, you know, both of them, they, they actually got a lot of depth here and there now. But they just don't have that star, so they'll both probably not make the playoffs. But they're, like, not bad enough to be the 15th seed in their conference. So they'll both end up being, like, the 12th, I think. Like, you know, look at San Antonio. They have depth players here and there. Like, you look at Jakob Pertl, who's their starting guy. Jock Landale, who's their backup dude. Uh, you know, backup big they got from the NBL. They've also got, like, Alfred Aminu. Uh, you know, Kelton Johnson, Doug McDermott. Zach Collins, Thaddeus Young, Jonte Murray, Bryn Forbes, Derek White, Lonnie Walker, Trey Jones, wow, Devin Vassell, like, they've got a really good, like, 11-man rotation with even a couple of other players like Lucas Samanich, who are still there as well that aren't terrible. I just don't know where this team sits, but what I do know is I still feel like they need to, you know, hit the draft for a couple more years. Like, I don't really see the need for them to go out and get Ben Simmons at this point. If I was them, you know, I would maybe go a little bit younger. Of course, start young and that are probably going to be there until the deadline where if they're not in the playoffs, they'll probably end up getting traded, you know, for a couple second round picks here and there. I just feel like something like that might happen, you know, I eventually that will. But they've still got depth here and there, like Dougie McDermott and that signing them in free agency still helps but again i don't see the point of going out and trading for ben simmons i think you hit the draft for a couple more years you know they'll probably again not be bad enough to have a top five pick they'll probably just sit at like pick nine to like pick 11 uh, and yeah take take a couple of good players get them developed underneath you know popovich and then i think you know a star will probably come eventually Look, San Antonio, can they lure in a big-name star? Probably not at the moment, but eventually in a year or two, when a star maybe sees that this team's ready to explode and they've still got Greg Popovich there, I think someone will come. I'm not exactly too sure who that will be. Who knows, maybe next year, James Harden. Something happens in Brooklyn. He wants to go back to Texas. Whoever knows. I'm not sure, but hey, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go out and trade for Ben Simmons just yet. 
I would kind of leave it because I think Ben Simmons, the Philadelphia 76ers, they want a lot for him. Like, they've announced they want a near all-star player, they want a good role player, or a good young player, whichever that second option is going to be. And they want four first-round picks. So let's just say Murray's having a better season this year, then they'll want DeJounte Murray, they'll want Thad Young, and then they'll want four future first-round picks. And if you're a Spurs fan, I don't think you want to give up your future and your best player for Ben Simmons, who was absolutely terrible in the playoffs and has doesn't even have a mid-range, which is what Greg Popovich really, really rates. It just doesn't make sense to me. They're, I don't think they're going to do it. I don't think it'd be the worst option. Like, if you could trade, if you could do it, your team would definitely improve and push for the playoffs, but it's not going to be good enough to, you know, really do anything, you know what I mean? And who knows if Ben Simmons will even be reliable enough to do anything in the playoffs at all. The other issue is as well, I don't see a second star wanting to come and play with Ben Simmons at this point, especially with how he kind of traded Joel Embiid, traded Tobias Harris, you know, kind of just left them in the mud. And then, of course, they kicked Jimmy Butler out of the team just so Ben Simmons could get some more minutes and, you know, get the ball in his hands. Like, dude, who's going to want to play with Ben Simmons when that's kind of the stigma around his name? Not just that, Markel Fultz, Look, I know 90% of the blame is on Marco Fultz, but there are people out there that still believe maybe Marco Fultz didn't do good in Philadelphia because of Ben Simmons. And, you know, we saw how good he was in Orlando when he first couple games before he ran into some injury issues later then. And, you know, he's still got a bad shoulder, which is rumored to be from a motorbike accident. But some people still believe he could have developed well in Ben's, you know, in our Philadelphia and been the shot creator they needed. But they've still kind of just got Ben Simmons staying there. I'm not exactly too sure, but... Hey, Ben Simmons not showing up to media day and pretty much saying he'll give up like $40 million just so he doesn't have to step foot in Philadelphia again. It's a real bad reputation. Not just that, Philadelphia, in my opinion, I have a lot of issues with their team right now. You know, I know 76ers fan, a lot of you guys like will agree with me on this because it, I, mean, I can't imagine how frustrating it is for you, for your GM to be like wanting a whole entire team's future and two, two good players for a player that has behaved like this and, you know, done so bad on the playoffs. They shouldn't be expecting more than, like, a, sub, a couple of okay role players and maybe three first-round picks, let alone they want a near all-star talent, a really good role player slash young player, and four first-round picks. Like, wow, their expectations are really, really high. Like, yeah, I know Ben Simmons was a, a nearly defensive player of the year, but what did he do in the playoffs? And where has he been since then? He hasn't made it his, you know, mission to come back in Philadelphia and redeem himself at all. No, he's really turned his back to a whole entire team and a whole entire state. And what's even more disappointing about that too is really, that's not the Australian way. Like, Australians really don't like Ben Simmons anymore because... A lot of Australians, you know, in, you know, including myself, I like to think we're pretty prideful and a lot of us won't turn our backs on things and this and that. Like, you look at a couple of the, you know, sporting leagues in Australia, a lot of the players in the leagues in Australia are really, really loyal because they don't like to turn their back on their team and they like to run it back and, you know, try their heart out for the team that gave them a chance. Ben Simmons doesn't want to do that. And I don't know, if I was the Spurs, I probably wouldn't be wanting to trade for him. You know, I'm a Cavs fan myself. I used to really want Simmons, but now we got Mobley and Allen. I probably don't want Simmons anymore. But yeah, it's just a really is big issue on the whole Ben Simmons kind of situation, the scandal and everything that's going on there. Like, this whole Ben Simmons thing, it's that crazy. I feel like a Netflix documentary will be made about it one day. Like, I feel like it's that ridiculous. But yeah, if you're a Spurs fan, I think most of you will agree with me that they probably shouldn't trade for Ben Simmons. But of course, I would very much like to hear all of your thoughts and opinions on this down below. Should the Spurs go ahead and trade for Ben Simmons? Should they not? You know, definitely let me know your reasons below. And again, I would really, really like to know. Um, again, for some reason, a lot of people get this mixed conception about my videos. You know, I just suggested that Philadelphia will want DeJounte Murray and they'll comment, 
No way. Why would Spurs trade up Jontae Murray? Again, if you're going to be that guy, I'm just saying, I never said they're going to trade up Jontae Murray. I said that's what Philadelphia will want. I don't know. I kind of have to put it out there. I've been getting a lot of comments like that recently where people are just kind of making up things I never said, you know, to talk trash and start beef with other people in the comments. If you're one of those guys that just want to start beef with people in the comments, that's not great, <laughs> not good at all. But, you know, as I was saying, I'd just like to hear your thoughts and opinions, like genuine opinions on, you know, Ben Simmons to the Spurs. Could it happen? Would it be a good move? Of course, I would very much like to know. Of course, don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel and my IRL Slash Long Channels if you haven't already. I've been recently uploading more and more to my gaming channel, pretty much uploading every second day. And I also recently just started a podcast channel where I've been uploading clips from my podcast, the CHB podcast, to that channel. So if you guys go, maybe leave a like on some of those videos, comment on them, you know, maybe that you came from this channel and go subscribe to that channel, you know, as well. I would very much appreciate that. So yeah, that would be very cool. But again, I'm just really curious to see what you guys comment. But as I was saying, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for all that NBA content and NBA news. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye. Through the wastelands, through the